Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be having a little bit of fun with our hair. I've had several requests to do another look like I did when I was replicating May Musk's hair and makeup. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, but I have drawn some inspiration from a few pictures I found on Pinterest. So I have something in mind, but we're gonna see if we can do it. All right, so we're gonna start off first with some Catwalk Fruit Boost. And I'm going to be putting this kind of right here at the part because I need some hold power. I'm also going to be putting it into this front section and through the top and then also on this side as well. Um, I am not going to place any here um, because I really want that to kind of lay flat. Definitely need to make sure I've got enough here in the bangs. Okay. Now, um, the other product I'm going to go ahead and put in is the Supernova Blonde Amica Violet Moisture and Shine Cream. I was asked how much I use of this, about that much. So, um, if you're in the U.S., it's about the size of a dime. And I'm going to work this through my hair. Now I did use my purple shampoo and conditioner today. And um, since this is going to be a look that is off the forehead, it's gonna show my natural blondes, natural platinum highlights I have coming in there, but that's okay. All right, so as we start blow drying, I'm gonna be going back, but I'm also going to be pulling the sides up and towards the center because this is really going to show off the shaved portion of my cut. So let's go ahead and get started blow drying. If you're familiar with the band Flock of Seagulls, <laughs> we have a little bit of that look going here, but we're going to tame this just a little bit. So you can see I've got the sides kind of going up. And what I want to do is just to go in with the flat iron in a few sections. And I want to create kind of like, almost like it is curling back on the side. So it's not just a kind of, you know, flat wave there. And then um, on the top, I think we can go in with a pomade. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side. So just taking a portion of the hair and curling it up towards the center, towards the top of the head, kind of pulling it back. And I feel like this is all pretty good. Um, I may with this front section, we may need to do a little work here so that I have a little bit less height. You can keep the height if you want. But I'm gonna try and tame it just a little bit. Yeah, that's 
that's better. Okay. And then I think the rest, we're going to go in with some pomade. Okay. <laughs> Hang with me here. Um, I am currently testing a whole new batch of your recommendations. So um, these are a bunch of hair pomades. I have one more that is on its way to me. So I kind of pretty much have a whole plethora of tools of pomades at my disposal. So um, I think what I'm going to start off with is this one. This is the Fiber Blast Texture Cream Color Proof Color Care Authority. This is a very interesting product. You don't think it's going to have much hold because it's more of a, boy, almost like a gel. I mean, it's very kind of uh, liquidy or lotiony kind of seeming, but you can see it has like fibers in it. So what I'm going to do is put some of that and it smells amazing. Okay. So I'm going to work this here first on the sides because I want to kind of plaster those sides down. <laughs> Doesn't that sound appealing? <laughs> All right. And then we are going to start working this fiber cream kind of in the center. Now I have a lot of hair. I have thick hair. So if you don't have quite as much hair, um, you might have to add a little more volume there on top, but I really don't need to add more. I don't think I just want to add some texture and hold. And what I'm doing, I'm really just kind of piecing and kind of twisting in. And we're gonna just kind of see if we can make it look like we've got some curls here on top and not quite a mohawk, not quite flock of seagulls, but you know, something just kind of fun. All right, and I'm gonna take just a little bit more and it really doesn't take a lot. This product is deceiving. Um, you would think it would be easier to wash out than my dry wax, but it actually takes a little work to get it out of your hair. Your hair doesn't feel stiff or crunchy, so that's a good thing, but um, just kind of a really interesting texture. All right, I'm just gonna mess with this front here a little bit. And again, I really, really want the sides kind of flattened there. Okay, I took a look at the back and I think I'm pretty happy with how it's laying down. I'm just gonna work a little bit of that pomade. It's time for me to clean up the neck here, but just pretend that is nice and clean there. All right, I'm gonna go in now with some hairspray using my old standby. This is the Aussie Instant Praise Hairspray. And we'll just see if we can add just a little bit of some texture and hold here now. And then what I am doing here in the front is I'm just kind of pushing it down just a little bit, you know, don't want to quite go for the 90s bangs, 80s and 90s hair, you know, where you're ratting the bangs, but I think this is kind of fun. All right, so I added some jewelry just to kind of bring the whole look together. And now let me show you the finished hair. And I'll pop up here on the screen my inspiration picture so we can see how close I came to replicating that picture. I think this was really fun to do. And you know what? If you're just staying at home, why not do something fun and crazy with your hair, right? Now, keep in mind, as I mentioned, as I was using my styling product and showed you that whole basket full of new products I'm testing, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on my upcoming video all about some new pomades I'm testing that you all have recommended to me. So thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.